The year 2024 brings many changes for all zodiac signs. To find out how the next 12 months will be for your zodiac sign, please watch this video until the end. In January, you'll focus on your financial situation. This involves mainly money or various assets that you share with others or money you might receive from someone or owe to someone. You might have arguments with someone over money, but there's also a good chance of receiving money at this time. The second half of the month, especially after the 23rd of January, is excellent for signing a credit contract, a partnership or for negotiations. On January 21st, Pluto moves into Aquarius, bringing significant changes regarding foreign travel, your relationship with foreign countries, higher studies and your principles. Pluto in Aquarius will influence you for several years ahead, so I will publish a separate horoscope solely about this subject. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn the notifications on so you don't miss this horoscope. If you want a personal horoscope calculated for your own birth date, I can make one for you. Read the description of this video for more details. Throughout the entire month of February, you'll crave adventure. You won't feel like working and everyday chores will annoy you. You'll need to break free from the routine, travel and learn something new. On the professional side, it's a good time if you work with foreign clients or at a multinational company. The downside is that after February 13th, you might have legal issues or arguments with someone regarding certain principles. I recommend avoiding getting into discussions about controversial topics during this time. Starting from February 19th, your focus will shift to your career. It's a great period for presentations, negotiations and making a good impression on bosses, colleagues and clients. February 28th and 29th will be particularly good days for everything related to your career and social status. Your career will continue to be at the center of your attention in March. The stars will help you achieve your goals more easily, both professionally and personally. Especially after the 10th of March, it would be good to communicate a lot with other people, like friends or your team at work. With their help, you'll find ways to reach your targets. From March 22nd and until the end of April, you'll have a lot of energy and ambition to progress in your career or to handle an important project. However, be careful. During this time, you might not mind stepping on toes to achieve what you've planned and you might feel that others are working too slowly or making mistakes. All this could lead to conflicts at work. Amidst this tense situation, another issue arises starting April 1st. Mercury goes retrograde and affects your friendships and teamwork. Moreover, it messes up your plans and until April 25th it will be harder to achieve your goals. Even though you might feel frustrated, it's essential not to take it out on others. Around April 19th, you'll probably receive good news at work, like a better job offer. For now, think about the offer and gather more information, but I recommend not accepting it immediately. Mercury is retrograde until April 25th and plans might still change. Have a little patience. After the 25th, but especially after the 30th of April, it will be easier again to follow your plans and to reach your goals. In the first three weeks of May, you will need silence and time to recharge. That's why you'll prefer to withdraw and working in a team or meeting many people might tire you out. Only after May 20th will you start stepping out in the world more. You might even be in the spotlight, charming those around you. Around May 23rd, you'll receive good news related to your career, public image or your role in society. On May 25th, an important astrological event occurs. Jupiter moves into another zodiac sign. From now and until June 2025, you have the opportunity for significant personal growth. Whether you want to learn a new language, take a course to improve yourself or reinvent who you are, the stars support you. The only thing that might bother you is that you might gain weight more easily than at other times. If you want to avoid this, you'll need to do something about it, like exercising more. 
In the first part of June, you'll still be in the spotlight, but after June 9th, your energy might decrease. At the same time, though, you might feel inner restlessness that you can't explain, possibly leading to insomnia. Starting from June 17th, you'll focus on your financial situation. You'll earn more money and discover new sources of income. However, after June 29th and for a few months, I advise against risky investments. If you plan a big investment, make sure you have all the necessary information and that you can make a well-thought-out decision. July is great for handling various tasks and negotiations. Especially in your professional life, you might receive good news in the first three weeks, like successfully negotiating a raise. After July 20th, you'll have a lot of energy and ambition. But be careful, your pride and the desire to enforce your opinions might lead to arguments with others. On July 25th, a good period begins for spending more time with family or making various changes around the house. Your family and home will still be at the center of your attention in August. It would be a good idea to take a vacation during this time. Mercury will be retrograde, first affecting your family and then your daily chores, works and negotiations. Between August 4th and 15th, I recommend avoiding buying expensive household items. You should also not sign any contracts for buying or renting a home. From August 15th to 28th, it's not ideal to sign any kind of contract. Also, if you're working during this period, having a flexible schedule is important. Your computer might break down, the printer might malfunction, your car might have issues and some meetings might get postponed. It's important to be able to adapt quickly to the situation. A better period starts on August 29th, especially in terms of romance and children. If you're in a relationship, you'll spend lovely moments with your loved one or take an important step in your relationship. If you're single, it's a good time to get out and about because you have the chance to meet someone and to start a new relationship. In January 2024, there's an extremely important astrological event that will influence us for several years. Pluto moves into Aquarius. I will publish separate videos about this transit, so please subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn the notifications on so you won't miss those videos. However, in September Pluto is retrograde and moves back into Capricorn, the sign where it has been for the past few years. In your case, it will particularly influence the things you own jointly with others, as well as any money you owe or are owed by someone. It might also relate to a longer process that has led to some changes in your spiritual or sexual life in recent years. If you have unfinished matters in these areas, you'll have the chance to conclude them between September 1st and November 19th, 2024. Starting from September 4th, you'll also focus on your sources of income, like exploring new ways to make money. Right now, you have a lot of energy and ambition to put your plans into action. However, you could argue with someone over money matters or if you pursue your goals too aggressively. Interpersonal relationships are the main topic in October. This mainly involves a romantic relationship, the relationship to your children, if you have any, and business partners. Especially after the 17th, you'll have the opportunity to spend lovely moments with your life partner or to start a new relationship if you are single. In the latter part of the month, work will also be on your mind because you will have a lot to do. But the better news is that communicating with colleagues, giving presentations and negotiations will go well. If you're planning to undergo medical tests, the period between October 13th and November 2nd is good because the accuracy of the results is positively influenced during this time. In November, relationships remain at the center of your attention, especially a romantic one. From the 2nd until around the 20th of November, business partnerships and negotiations regarding various contracts, especially a partnership contract, go well. After November 4th, I recommend being careful in how you communicate and also when you're in traffic. You might feel restless and this can lead to conflicts with others, carelessness in traffic or minor accidents in daily life. As I mentioned earlier, until November 19th, Pluto is still in Capricorn, giving you the chance to sort out some unfinished matters from 2023. 
If you need to resolve or finalize something related to owned money, jointly owned assets, spirituality or sexuality, do it before November 19th. From November 25th until December 15th, Mercury will be retrograde again and negatively affects relationships, especially your relationship with your loved one or business partners. It's not a good time to start a romantic relationship and you shouldn't sign contracts, especially partnership contracts. As if retrograde Mercury wasn't enough, starting from December 4th, Mars will also be retrograde. You will feel even more in a restlessness than in November and you need to be careful not to get injured. Also be very cautious in how you communicate with those around you and avoid signing any kind of contract. These are the most important events for your zodiac sign in the year 2024. To find out more details for each month, subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn the notifications on.